damsels, it's Rowan here. So today is the long-awaited announcement of when I am finally going to Disney. I have been hinting about this for the longest time. I've mentioned it on my Instagram, I've mentioned it a couple times here on YouTube, but yes, we are taking a trip to the magical place on Earth Disney World, and we are going to be there from December 26th to January 4th. So yes, we are spending New Year's Eve at Disney, which I think is the best time to do that. Yes, it is going to be super, super crowded, but that's okay. As long as I'm in Disney, it doesn't matter to me. We have been planning this trip for eight months now. I've been putting together our itinerary. I've been putting together my outfits. I've been putting together Sophie's outfits. It's been crazy. All our reservations are done. All our fast passes are done. Everything is already planned. It's just the matter of waiting for that day to come. So what this video is gonna be is just me talking to you guys about our itinerary, where we're gonna be on each day, and I will throw in some outfits here and there just to show you guys what it is that I am going to be wearing. I will not be putting the outfits on because I just don't have the time for that right now. So you will officially see me in the outfits in all their glory when I actually go to Disney and I'm posting on my Instagram. So if you would like to follow me on my social media, it is Sophie's Mama 426 That is my personal Instagram. I don't think I'm going to be posting on the damsel Instagram just because I I just feel more comfortable posting on my Instagram so if you are interested to follow along on my adventures when I'm in Disney you can go ahead and follow me on there before I start with the itinerary I just want to let you guys know that I will not be vlogging this year's trip I usually love to vlog when I'm going on trips and I love to capture everything that way I have everything there the last time I went to Disney with Sophie and my husband I captured every second and I go back occasionally and I do watch those vlogs vlogs just so I can like relive the memories but on the other hand I feel like I want to kind of just immerse myself in the moment I want to enjoy it and not have to worry about capturing everything that is something that I struggled with when I did go with Sophie for the first time is that I was so focused on capturing everything that I kind of feel like I missed out on just living it, just like being there. And I feel like that's most of the time what vloggers struggle with is like, should we vlog it to capture everything and show you guys? Or should we not vlog it and just like live in the moment? That being said, it's not that I will not be vlogging like at all. I just, there's not going to be a series, you know, where I do like a day one, day two, day three. It's not going to be like that. What I'll probably do is maybe I will um, capture certain moments of the trip and then do kind of one big video at the end um, where it's just like one video and it's like a highlight video either me sitting down and talking to you guys about how the trip went and then like inserting clips here and there or just like literally having just one video of clips from Disney World. I feel like that's gonna be a lot more manageable than actually vlogging the entire trip and we have a lot of stuff planned and I'm just I really just want to live in the moment with my family so I hope that's okay with you guys I'm, I'm a little sad about it because I do think that that would be great content to put on the channel just like Disney World vlogs because I feel like Disney World vlogs are very interesting to watch and a lot of people do like watching them and they would get a lot of views but that's not what's most important what's most important is that I'm gonna be going to Disney World with my family and we are going to be experiencing the magic together so that is my little spiel on whether I am vlogging or not. Let's talk about this trip. I'm super excited for it. We are going to be staying in Art of Animation. This is going to be our first time staying at this resort, so I'm super excited for it. Usually we stay in the French Quarter because the French Quarter is near and dear to my heart. It is my favorite resort to stay in when I'm at Disney World, and you guys already know this, but we wanted to try something new. We wanted to do something different, especially for Sophie um, because Sophie's a very big Little Mermaid fan. We wanted to stay in the art of animation in the Little Mermaid section of the resort and that is where we are going to be staying. If you didn't know, the art of animation, it has a Little Mermaid section, it has a Finding Nemo section, a Lion King section, and a car section. So I think the resort in itself is going to be amazing just to explore that. So maybe I could take you guys like on a little bit of a tour while I'm there. We are very excited. 10 day trip at the art of animation and we are going to be going to all four parks 
at least twice. I cannot go to Disney for less than 10 days. The only reason I went for five days with Mina is because Mina couldn't go for more than five days, so I was able to just go with the flow with that. But me, personally, if I want to go to Disney World, especially with my family, we do like to go uh, for a an extended amount of time which is 10 days and I know some people might think that's a really long time but I actually don't think it's enough um, that's just me though okay so we're gonna get started I literally have everything written down all of my itinerary written down um, because I like to know where we're gonna be at which day and what I'm gonna be wearing because I don't like to just go there and be like okay let's put on anything no I like to theme it to the park I like to theme it to the restaurant we're just gonna get started with day one so day one December 26th that is going to be our travel day so we actually are not going to be going to a park that day we usually don't go to a park the first day because we are exhausted we are catching an early flight I think our flight takes off at 7 a.m. so we have to be at the airport by 5 a.m. which means we have to be awake at 4 a.m. so it's gonna be a really long day for us especially with a child with a four-year-old it's gonna be too much on her so we are going to be taking it easy the first day so we're gonna be exploring the resort and then we're also also going to be spending the day at Disney Springs and have dinner at Planet Hollywood that is a tradition that we usually do so outfits for me um, I do have outfits for Sophie but I'm not gonna be showing them to you because I don't want this to be a really long video I am gonna be showing you most of the outfits that I have for myself planned okay so for the first outfit that is gonna be my travel outfits this is what I'm gonna be wearing to the airport uh, on the plane when we first get to the resort I wanted to just go casual I'm just gonna be wearing a pair of jeans my my shirt says mini and then Sophie's shirt says mini me so obviously if Sophie's shirt was here it would make it a lot more cuter because it's mini and mini me and then I'm just gonna wear these see you real soon um, just black velvet and red mini ears very classic very simple I didn't want to be going like too crazy um, especially since I'm gonna be on the plane and I know people are already gonna be looking at me like I'm nuts because I have ears on on the plane but I want to look the part so that's what's gonna be my first outfit I will be probably changing once I get to the resort I don't really have anything planned of what I'm gonna be changing into but I do have like a bunch of t-shirts that I'm just gonna be taking with me like on my downtime especially because the first day is travel day so I'm not really going too out for it so day two we are going to be going to Magic Kingdom Magic Kingdom is the first park that I always go to whenever I go to Disney World I cannot start at a different park that's it's just not Disney to me magic kingdom the castle walking down Main Street that is Disney to me so we do have a reservation that morning at 1900 Park Fair so we will be having breakfast there and meeting all of those fun characters and then we are gonna be heading to Magic Kingdom afterwards so for this day I decided to go Little Mermaid themed I'm gonna be wearing this Little Mermaid shirt which you guys have seen on me before from Cakeworthy and I'm going to pair it off with my Imaginex ears of the Little Mermaid and um, I'm probably going to be wearing this outfit with a purple tutu or blue one it depends it depends on what I'm feeling that day I'm gonna be taking a bunch of tutus with me just in case I'm feeling the tutu mood but yes I will be wearing this with a tutu just because it'll make me feel more of a princess and I am planning on meeting Ariel in this outfit in Magic Kingdom just so that I can make her day <laughs> in my Little Mermaid outfit for the second half of the day because what we usually do is we spend the first half of the day in a park and then we'll go back to the resort change and then go somewhere else we don't really have set plans of what we're doing after that um, we're just keeping it kind of open whatever we're feeling that day for the majority of the day we will be in Magic Kingdom so the next day we are going to be going to Animal Kingdom and Animal Kingdom that day actually does have extra magic hours that is how I plan it I check to see which parks have extra magic hours in because that way we can go there a little bit earlier so that day we have a reservation at two places actually so we have breakfast at Tusker House which I've never been to before so I'm really excited to see that and then we also have a dinner reservation at Yak and Yeti also in Animal Kingdom so that whole entire day we are going to be staying in Animal Kingdom but I think we are going to be going back midday and then changing for dinner and then going to dinner at Animal Kingdom so for my outfit for Animal Kingdom me and Sophie are gonna be matching we are going to be wearing a shirt that says Hakuna Matata 
very simple, nothing too crazy. And then I think I'm probably just gonna wear these with a pair of either black jeans or blue jeans, depending on what I'm feeling. And then Sophie also has a shirt that says Hakuna Matata, but hers is in white. And then I am gonna be wearing my Lion King ears, which I don't have with me right now because it's all the way down in the basement and I was hella lazy to go down there and get them, but I am gonna be wearing Lion King ears with this. So I actually didn't think this through, but for dinner, I will probably be changing into a dress. I don't know what dress that is yet. I haven't thought that through yet. I will be changing into a dinner outfit for the second half of that day. So the fourth day, we're going to be going to Hollywood Studios. And for this, we are. I made my outfit Toy Story themed. Even though I have like two Star Wars outfits that I wanna wear to Hollywood Studios, so what I'll probably do is I'll save one of those Star Wars outfits for a day like that we're gonna be going to Hollywood Studios like at the second half of the day, not the first half. So I made this a Toy Story themed outfit and I got this dress um, from Cakeworthy. And it is, you guys have probably seen this before, it's this alien dress. It's very simple, it just has like all of the aliens on it and it says Pizza Planet. And I am going to be pairing this dress off with these ears that I got from Aloha Ears Design, I think. But I think it's gonna look super cute, especially because I'm gonna be going on the alien saucers for a fast pass. And I have like a lot of photo opportunities that I can take in Hollywood Studios with my alien outfit. So I am excited for that. Do we have a reservation that day? We do not, so we will probably just be eating quick service for both uh, dinner and lunch or whatever it is. And yes, we are doing the dining plan. I forgot to mention that. We are doing the Disney dining plan. Fifth day, we are going to be spending the day at Epcot. And we do have a reservation that day, and we're going to be going to Chippendale's Harvest Feast Lunch at Garden Grill, and we are gonna be grabbing lunch there. And for that day, for Epcot, I went very simple. Again, like I feel like these outfits are very simple this time around. I didn't go like too crazy. There are some outfits that are a little bit, you know, out there, but most of them are, are very simple. I just didn't have the money to spend like on new, like full blown outfits. I'm saving that for my birthday trip. I'm gonna save those outfits for that. But I'm gonna be wearing this and it says, it's a t-shirt and it just says World Travel Traveler and it has a uh, Minnie Mouse on it and um, it says Mommy because I am the mom of this party of three. And then Sophie also does have one that says World Traveler and I think hers just says her name. It says Sophie on it. So again, I just wanted us to match um, because I'm like that. And I'm gonna be wearing these with my Epcot ears. Again, I don't have them on me right now, but they are the ones from uh, we've got ears and they're just like Epcot ears. For the 31st, which is New Year's Eve, we are not going to be in Magic Kingdom because that's going to be absolutely nuts. We are going to be spending it at Animal Kingdom that day and we have a reservation at Ohana for New Year's Eve. So we have the dinner reservations at 7. So we most likely will not be there for when the fireworks go off. We're, we're not gonna be at a park or anything for that because I just think it's gonna be way too crazy. But for Animal Kingdom that day, I bought this really cute yellow romper. If you follow me on social media, you probably already saw this on me. I have to get it taken in because it is a little big. But it's just like a yellow romper um, and I'm gonna be wearing my Pandora ears with them. I'm so sorry guys, like I feel like I'm totally not ready to film this video, but I need to film this because I know the longer I wait, the harder it's gonna be to do it. So I'm sorry if I'm like not showing you the actual items or things that I'm wearing and I have like a bunch of like bags and stuff that go with this and I'm just not showing them to you right now um, but again if you're following me on social media you will be able to see all this because you will see them in the photos I will be wearing a Pocahontas bag with this one and then my Pandora ears so for the seventh day which is January 1st that is New Year's Day we are going to be at Magic Kingdom. So we do have a breakfast reservation at Crystal Palace. Because we're gonna be in Magic Kingdom, I have done this outfit before, but I loved it so much that I wanna do it again. Um, and it is this shirt, and it says Lost Princess, and it's Tangled themed. I know I'm not a big Tangled fan, that's okay, I don't care. I really like the colors of the Tangled movie, so that's why I, I normally go for this, um, I guess, themed outfit. So I'm gonna be wearing this probably with a tutu, and then also I'm going to be wearing these purple ears with them with this outfit as well so that is going to be my magic kingdom outfit for that day 
And then on January 2nd, which I think is day eight, we're going to Hollywood Studios. And for Hollywood Studios, a lot of people um, saw this outfit on me already because I showed it to you guys on Instagram. Again, if you're following me on Instagram, you know all of the stuff that's happening because I literally just like show you guys everything that happens there. So I wanted to go for a Kylo Ren themed outfit because Batu, the land, the galaxy's edge is there. I want to take a lot of photos there and I want to meet Kylo Ren himself and tell him that he is absolutely amazing and he is going to go to the light side. I mean, I will, I will know what he does um, when I go there because I'm watching the movie before. So we're just going to have to wait and see. As of this moment right now, I don't know what's happening though. So we'll just have to wait and see. This shirt says order in the front so it's like an empire shirt it has like kylo ren's like mask and then in the back it says ren 15 so i'm hoping that he sees this and is like oh who's this pretty lady over here and then i have these kylo ren ears to go with it you see kylo ren on this side and then there's like um that black droid with a red bow again it goes with the outfit because it's all red and then i'm wearing this high low tutu skirt uh, with the shirt. This is just super extra. This is probably one of my most extra outfits that I'm gonna be wearing this day and I'm all for it. I don't even care. Okay, so that day is gonna be crazy because I'm gonna be in this outfit for the first part of the day and then we have a reservation at Be Our Guest um, at night for dinner. And for that, I did go a little out for that one because Be Our Guest is one of my favorite restaurants and I love to look my best when dining there, especially because I am going to be meeting Beast and I love Beast. He's one of my favorites. Again, if you're following me on social media, you probably already saw this dress, but I'm sharing it anyway. I got this really cute dress from Unique Vintage. It is totally Beauty and the Beast themed. It literally has a rose on one side of the dress. It has like really nice red buttons. It has a high collar and it's just very, very flattering. Like I love it on my body type. It looks very nice. And I got a lot of comments as well from all of you that are following me on Instagram that this is going to look amazing. I'm not completely sure what the ears are gonna be yet. I have a bunch of Beauty and the Beast ears. I haven't made my final selection yet but it will be a pair of Beauty and the Beast ears that will be going with this dress. So that is day eight. So day nine, which is the day before that we leave and, you know, depression starts, is Epcot day. And for Epcot, we are going to be going... Oh, okay, so that... Oh, interesting. So the first half of the day... Uh, we're, we're actually gonna be in Epcot and we have a breakfast reservation at 1900 Park Fair and I went a little fancy with 1900 Park Fair um, this day. I don't know why but I saw this dress and I just really loved it. So it's like this dress, it has half yellow, half purple. Again, I've worn this already on Instagram. I've shown you guys what it looks like on my story. I'm gonna be wearing these purple ears with them. I just think it's like a really fun outfit, especially to go to 1900 Park Fair in and then I will probably be wearing my happy purse with it. So that's going to be my outfit for the first part of the day. All right, so the second half of the day, I am going to be wearing a genie shirt. I don't know where I put it. Like I misplaced it somewhere. It's definitely somewhere. Um, but I'm going to be wearing a genie shirt and then with black overalls and then these genie ears that I literally just got gifted by Seria from a swap that I was in. So I don't have genie ears, so this definitely is going to go with it. If I had that genie um, Daniel Nicole purse, it would have went perfectly with this outfit, but I don't have it, so I'll probably just gonna have to just improvise with another genie theme. Oh, I have a, I have a lamp. I have a lamp purse, so I'll probably wear that as well. So that is the second to last day, and then the last day, which is when we leave, I actually did get an outfit for the last day that I'm in Disney, which doesn't make any sense because. It's gonna be hella depressing, um, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. I got me and Sophie matching outfits for this one, and it's this. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I saw it and I thought it was so cute. I think it's supposed to be um, like a cruise shirt, like a Disney cruise, because in the reflection of Ariel sunglasses, you can see like the Disney cruise on it, but whatever. And it's literally just like this really cool um, aerial shirt and I'm probably going to just be wearing like jeans with it and then I'll probably just pair it off with aerial ears I'm not sure I, I, like 
I feel like my, again, I feel like this time around, I have like so many ideas and I'm like all over the place. But Sophie is going to be wearing this matching with me, so I will be taking pictures of us at the resort, especially in the Little, Little Mermaid section in this outfit. I am so sorry, you guys, that this went so bad. Like, I feel like usually... I have everything put together. I have all of the ears together. I actually don't. Like, it's December 1st right now. I'm filming this right now because I know later down the line I'm not going to be able to film this. There's just so much going on. And I'm going to be way too preoccupied to get ready for our trip. So that's why this video has been like all over the place. Hopefully though you guys have a little idea of where I'm going to be on each day or what I'm going to be wearing. Am I going to be changing? Yeah, absolutely. There will be days where I will change my mind and change outfits and all that. I'm going to bring a lot of like Disney t-shirts that I just haven't worn um, on downtime when I like, you know, we're just like, we don't really know what we want to do. Also, I wanted to say that... I don't know if a lot of you live in Florida or if a lot of you are going to be there during this time. I absolutely would love to meet all of you if I had the chance. Um, I cannot make set plans right now with anyone so if for some reason you are going to be at Disney and you want to like meet up or whatever it is, I probably will not be able to because I am going to be with my family and I do have to take that into consideration. But if you happen to see me at the parks and let's say we're like at the same park at the same time and you happen to see me like waiting in line for something or I don't know just walking to something come up and say hi to me like I would love to see you guys like that is something that I actually really want to happen like I want people to come up and be like hi I watch your videos like that would be the most amazing feeling ever like just you guys messaging me makes me feel so good so imagine like me seeing you in person that would be amazing um and I could like you know just chat with you guys for a couple of minutes and then we'll be on our way but I can't really make make time to like spend the day with someone or spend half the day with someone because it's just not fair on my family so I hope you guys understand that but absolutely if you do see me please say hi do not be shy I am a normal person and um, you'll probably see me in person and be like oh this is this is what you look like in person you're like a normal person <laughs> anyway thank you Danzel so much for watching I'm super excited for this Disney trip I hope you guys are just excited as I am I will be going on my Instagram stories and filming on my Instagram stories because like I said I won't be vlogging the entire trip so most of the time I will be on Instagram stories. So if you want to be bombarded with Disney content on Instagram, definitely follow me on there and check me out there. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of this video. I think I got everything that I needed to say. I hope wherever you are in this world, damsels, you are having a magical time. Mwah. Bye! Bye.